Hello, hello, and welcome back to Limits. Uh, we got our we got our cell phone, our small phone. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, do you all like the pronunciation of small phone? Uh, how how they say that in like Japan? I always think that that's really funny. But okay, yeah. So, sorry, I'm not a weeb. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like I deserve this gift to be honest. Eh, who cares? The guy said that it's a gift, so I don't think too much about it. I mean, seriously. You got a phone! A freaking good one, too. Yeah, that is true. Uh, well, a gift is a gift. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Or Jerry's. <laughs> Jerry? Jerry is a friend of mine. Right. He's also a horse. Ah, I see. I'll I'll be sure to remember that. You know, I'm honestly not sure if he's ac he's okay with that proverb. Proverb proverb of a bowl. It's fine. Uh, maybe I should ask him the next time I meet him. Oh, by the way, Dan, you've already got a card installed, right? Let's add each other's number. Oh yeah. Uh, have mine as well. You promptly um, pull out your brand new phone from your pocket. You didn't notice it before, but the carbon black appearance it has gives it a really cool presence. This looks really cool. You spend the next minute manually adding the weasels and the lion's the lion. Yeah, the lion's numbers. Right. Yeah, he's here. Piero. Well, Pierre is here. Yes. Uh, that's done. What about you, Roderick? Whoa, here. Uh, pass your phone. Uh, okay. Thanks. You've got a neat phone here. Let's see. All done. I'll add Grand's number as well, by the way. Enjoy! Wait, you did? I figured that you were gonna do the same thing anyway. Well, yeah. It's not a big deal, though. Good. Here's your phone back, Dan. Thanks. You take a quick look at your contact list. You notice that under Roderick's na uh, contact name, uh, you see a capital letter M at the end. Is that the first letter of a surname? M. I wonder what that is. Looking back up towards the canine, he catches your gaze and gives you a quick wink. He knows. <sighs> uh, anywho, uh, Jacob, uh, did the doctor leave any uh, leave anything for me? I didn't see him in the infirmary. Oh, yes, yes. Here it is, your form. The weasel hands you a sheet of paper. On it is printed rows and columns of empty boxes. It seems pretty straightforward. There's a uh, there's time spent, a sign and signature box for each row, which I presume are meant for whoever is supervising me. You're an adult, so you should be able to understand how this uh, approach that how to approach this. And just remember that you need to get a signature from the chief or the doctor at the end of each and every week to record your progress, okay? If you run out of boxes to fill, then just come by and I can print you another one. Okay, I understand. Thanks. The blue canine shifts closer to you, as soon followed by the tiger. Oh, what is this? Yeah, what is this? It reads, uh, Community Service Hours. Hours. Did you get in trouble, Dan? Well, yes and no. It's a bit of a long story. Uh, do tell me if you don't mind. I'll get... Uh, I've got an hour to kill before I have to go to work. Oh, right. He works. I wonder what kind of job he's working. Based on his outfit, I uh, might have a guest or two in mind. I can, uh, I can spare a few minutes as well. Well, it's something like this. You spend the next few minutes getting the tiger and canine up to date. Oh damn, that's something. I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, it seems pretty alright. I think. So, have you got anything in mind that you want to do? With a shrug and a peel of a nervous laugh, you reply, Not really. You got any leads? I mean, Doc did tell me that there is an opening for an internship here, but uh, maybe I could try that out? 
and, uh, and be with the a big lug of a cat 24-7. You sure you want that? Hey, it's not so bad around here. I believe you. You know, I think the fire department department is taking interns. Maybe they'll catch your interest. The fire department? Is that where you work? Yup. It's a pretty cool place. A bunch of laid a uh, bunch of laid back and chill people too. And not to mention. The canine leans in closer right to your ear as he whispers. Big. <laughs> With a chuckle and a wink, the canine retreats back. Big? What does he mean? The place? Or maybe... You good, Dan? I'm good. Just thinking. Aren't you always? So, what do you think, Dan? I'll have to think about it for a moment. No rush. Oh, uh, maybe you could even uh, do a trial run if you'd like. Get to know the place and etc. See if it's up your alley. I can't lie, that's an interesting I offer. I've always wanted, uh, wondered what it's like inside of a fire department. And not to mention, Roderick will be there, won't he? It's nice to have a familiar face around, despite only having met him a couple days ago. Better than nothing. Would it, would it really be okay, though? Me going there straight away? Feels sudden, isn't it? I don't see why not. I'm sure the chief wouldn't mind. Under normal circumstances, I think it would be a... It would, uh, have been okay. But aren't you restricted to stay within the, uh, department's vicinity unless you are with a member of the PD? Oh, yeah, that's true. How about we go talk with the chief together? Maybe we can work something out. And you're coming too, Rod. Me? Sure. Okay, we can do that. Sounds fun. Can I come? Maybe later, Jacob. Alright, your loss. Alright, let's get going. After um, bidding your goodbyes to Jacob, you and Roderick and Gran headed off to the chief's office. Walking beside the canine, you couldn't help but smile. An unfamiliar, warm feeling stirs within your chest. The canine catches your eye with his, uh, smiling softly. Before giving you a quick wink. Elsewhere. Oh, okay, so I think, um... Yeah, so this is... Stuff we've read before. I know, like, half of that conversation was, like... Eto. The same, but, you know... It's kind of weird. The game now registers everything as, like, I haven't read it. It's awkward. It's it's either I skip everything or nothing at this point. You know, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Bear with me. <laughs> After a, um, a bit of time discussing with the chief, uh, the three of you uh, congregate back with the weasel at the front. I guess it was fine after all. Everything went okay? He was okay with it. Since it'll be a, a trial run, it won't count towards my hours. However, if I am serious about it, I'd have to ask Roderick to fill out, uh, fill some documents for me, since he'll have to be my supervisor. After that, my hours should be counted moving forward. Well, ain't that nice. Good for you. You know, uh, we could just uh, do all the paper uh, uh, stuff right now and make things official. Supervisor Roderick doesn't sound so bad. In fact, I kind of like it. You've got your work cut out for you, Dan. But you should be fine. He may not look the part, but he's a pretty reliable mutt. Aren't you, you big puppy? Please never do that again. Ahem. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of work to do. So I'll see you around. Take care, buddy. Take care, Gran. Thanks for today. You're, you're welcome. With a smile, the tiger gives you a small wave before heading towards one of the rooms. So, are you two going to just stand around here? And be my guest. Let's get going, Dan. We still have those sandwiches to munch on before my shift starts. Come on. They, they taste pretty good. I made them myself. 
All right, uh, lead the way then. See you around, Jacob. Peace. You wave your goodbye and leave the building with the canine at your front. The two of you head towards the parking lot and into the canine's parked vehicle. From the look of it, it's the it's a typical pickup truck. You sit at the front uh, next to the canine. A nice car. I thought you said you didn't have one before. Yup. Uh, this is from work. I don't have a personal one just yet. Would love to have one one day, though. Ah, I see. Here, have a couple of these sandwiches I made. You're not allergic to anything, right? Not that I'm aware. Oh, that's good. Thanks, I'm kinda hungry. Me too. Let's dig in. Looking down at the aluminum-wrapped uh, sandwich in your hand, you notice the pleasant warmth emanating from it. The size is larger than what you're usually used to, uh, but at this point, you've realized that's just how it is in this new world. You, sl you slowly unwrap the foil as you, um, as the mouth-watering fragrance of cooked meat and spices enter your nostrils. Taking a moment to inspect what was given, uh, you then eagerly take a bite out of the sandwich. Damn. You made this? I think it's a bit undercooked, but overall, it's pretty tasty. Undercooked? Meat is always better taste than undercooked. Yeah, uh, how do you find the taste? It's good. Thanks for this. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Uh, take, uh, take that, Gran. I knew it was only you. What's the matter with Gran? Uh, nothing much. He just keeps telling me that I, the stuff I cooked is a little undercooked. Well, uh, yeah, about that. I think it is a bit undercooked, but I think it's still pretty great. Oh. Well, I guess I do need to pay more attention to that. Anywho, I'm... I'm done with mine. Here's a bottle of water, and just leave the uh, wrapping in the plastic bag once you're done. I'll start the engine so we can get going. I can't be late. Uh, thank you. Do you drive? Or rather, have you even driven like this before? Yeah, actually, I do have a driver's license. Although, I can't say I'll be able to drive the cars here. It could be different. Whoa, so you're not unfamiliar with these. Nice. Maybe you can take it for a ride or two later. See if the controls are the same. That could be fun. Based on what I'm seeing, things seem to be relatively the same. Just bigger in some aspects. Well, we are pretty big. You stare at him. Dumbfound dumbfounded, albeit a bit flustered. I mean, look at my hands. They're bigger than yours. The canine uh, spreads out his hands wide towards you. Z. Y yeah, true. Uh, get a grip. Uh, those hand beans, though. The, remain the remainder of the ride is spent in a pleasant silence as you soak in all of the new areas that you're going through. Eventually, you've arrived at the spot. Alright, we've arrived. I've never been inside a fire station before. This is exciting. So, you do uh, have something like this back from where you're from. Well, I guess that explains a few things. Like what? Well, for a start, you never questioned nor asked me what a fire station is. You seemed to know what it was. Oh, right. I should have informed you about that. My bad. No biggie. Sometimes I forget you're not from here. I don't mean that in a bad way, of course. It's, um... What's the word? New? Something like that. I see. Well, uh, come on then. I'll show you around. I need to let the boss know that we have a visitor as well. Else the others might think you're trespassing. I wouldn't want that. Me either. You follow behind the canine walking in front of you. Along the way, you notice a couple of figures glancing towards your direction. Man, they're pretty built. Oh, this place looks nice. Welcome! Stay here while I uh, bring my boss over. He should be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is! 
Uh, hey there. Uh, there he is. Uh, hey, boss. The canine waves. Oh, that's a whole ass, like, man. That's a, that's a human. I was not expecting that. Okay. Wade. Wade. Okay. Uh, morning, Rod. Yeah, how's it hanging? The burly man's voice is rather grav gravelly, deep. He waves back at the canine. Oh, my. Uh, he's a human just like me. Wait, he is a human, right? Morning. It's going, it's going. Say, I have a friend here who might be interested in the internship offer. I suggested that I'll show him and at for around first. I'll let him know the place and uh, such before making the decision. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I have, a, I have no problem with that. The big man studies you. His piercing blue eyes stare you down. What's your name, young man? It's Dan. It's uh, nice to meet you, sir. My name is Wade. I'm the chief of this department. Welcome to Iron Haven's Fire Department. The man extends his hand with a wide smile on his face. Without much hesitation, you take it, take his and his hand in. You notice the calloused uh, texture of the uh, rather large hand. His grip is firm, yet it's uh, gentle enough that it doesn't hurt your hand. You'd imagine that uh, he could probably break your hand with ease if he'd be inclined to do so. Thank you for the welcome. So, you're interested in interning here, eh? What's the reason? Well, I thought that it would be an interesting experience to see the ins and outs of a fire department here. I'm still not sure myself if I'm decided to intern here just yet. I'll have to wait until after the tour to decide. Honest. I respect that. There hasn't been a lot of incidents lately, which is good, of course. So it's a little surprising to hear that there's someone interested in interning here. Considering that a lot of young ones only are interested in the action and ex, uh, etc. Uh, what's this internship, if I may ask? What? What's this internship, if I may ask? Oh, that's supposed to be Dan. Okay. No. I uh, can't say that it's for educational purposes because I'm not currently studying. I've, um... Oh, wait, no, that wasn't supposed to be that. That was just the question? What's this interested... Wait. He's asking about why we're making the... In doing the internship, right? Is that what I'm supposed to be getting out of this? I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I've already done that. And if we're being very specific about this, if anything, I'm more volunteering than interning... But anything that I'm doing this for community hours is a bit... But saying I'm doing this for community hours is a bit embarrassing. Should I be embarrassed, though? It's not like I did anything wrong, per se. The canine notices your hesitation, concern displayed on his face. It's for my community hours. Community hours. The man's eyes uh, shift towards the canine, his brow raised. In return, the canine simply smiles. Well, I won't pry for the details just yet. If Roderick vouches for you, then that's good enough for me. Thank you. For a second, I thought he was going to suplex me into the ground. Though that might not be so bad. Stop it, my mind. <laughs> Are you all right, Dan? You look a little red. Must be the temperature. It is a fire department. It feels pretty chilly in here. Anyway, the morning drill will start in 30 minutes like usual, right? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Uh, there's something that I need to do beforehand. You two take care. I don't... I probably uh, don't need to tell you this, Rod. But keep an eye on your friend. Aye, aye, sir! And you, Dan. Try to stay with Roderick, alright? Yes, sir. Good. See you, uh, see you for now. Your boss seems pretty nice. He's a chill guy, yeah. You do morning drills every day? Yup. We need to stay fit after all. 
Do I have to join in uh, join it later? Well, I don't see why not. But for real, you're free to just sit back and watch. You don't work here after all. It could be fun though. Now I haven't exactly uh, exercised much lately. I don't know how much uh, fun it'll be for me. Well, it's never too late to start now. Oh, I mean, are you not a fan of these? The canine flexes both of his bulging arms in various poses that you've seen in one of those bodybuilding showcases. It's comical. Damn, can't really argue with that. You chuckle. What's so funny? Ah, uh, it's just the way you pose. You mean like this? Yeah, perhaps. Why am I chuckling more than usual? He's just posing around. I guess it's a little endearing in a way. Alright, I'll end the part here, so I'll see you around everyone.